And welcome to another Foldit Lab Report. I am Bikep here at the Institute for Protein Design in Seattle with my colleague Ian H. If this is your first time tuning in to a Foldit Lab Report, we produce these videos on the first of every month to tell you more about the science behind Foldit. In the news, we got some lab results back. These are for IL-2R binders that Foldit players designed late last year. We tested about 2,000 designs using fluorescence-activated cell sorting, or FACS. In this experiment, we insert custom DNA into yeast cells so that our protein design is displayed on the surface of the cell. Then we introduce fluorescently labeled target protein, in this case IL-2R, and we look for yeast cells that stick to the fluorescent target. If we see a yeast cell that is surrounded by fluorescence, that indicates the yeast cell is displaying a protein that successfully binds to the glowing target. Unfortunately, this experiment revealed no conclusive binding to the IL-2R target. That's okay, we're not discouraged. There are plenty of other binder targets and folded binder designs are getting better every week. And that brings us to this month's puzzle updates. In February, we introduced a new protein binder design target a protein called CD22. CD22 is a protein found specifically on the surface of white blood cells. It normally helps to regulate the immune system by recognizing friendly human cells. But CD22 is different than the binder design targets we've seen before. First, CD22 is a distinctive protein. It is only found on one type of cell. This is in contrast to other targets like IL-2 receptor or CD47, which are found on many different cell types throughout the body. Instead, CD22 is only found on a specific type of white blood cell called B cells, and that makes it a useful marker for identifying these B cells. As it happens, there are a number of blood cancers or leukemias that arise from malignant B cells. In treating these particular cancers, CD22 can serve as a kind of homing beacon for targeted chemotherapy. If we were to link a cell-killing drug with a CD22 binder, then we could attack cancer cells while minimizing side effects in other cell types. But there's another reason that CD22 differs from other targets we've seen in Foldit. The CD22 protein does not have an obvious place to target with a binder. That's because CD22 doesn't have any large hydrophobic patches on its surface, which would serve as a sticky handhold for a protein binder. In fact, CD22 is heavily glycosylated. That means that the protein is covered with bulky sugar molecules that obscure the protein's surface. All of this makes CD22 an especially difficult target for binder design. But researchers here have been studying CD22, and they've picked out a site on the surface that we think is suitable for binding. Like any binder design puzzle, we want to maximize contact surface with the target. But because this target is so polar, that will be difficult to do without creating bonds, that is, buried, unsatisfied polar atoms that can't make hydrogen bonds. We've already finished the first round of CD22 binder design, and we're looking at those solutions now but you can look forward to more CD22 binder puzzles in the coming weeks. This is just one of the active puzzles in Foldit right now. To see the rest, check out the Foldit website. And that brings us to this month's design of the month. This month, we have a design from our monomer design puzzle. This is puzzle 2106, protein design with the neural net objective. Uh, unlike a lot of recent puzzles, we are not designing a binder or a small molecule binder or a symmetric protein. We just want to see what Foldit players can come up with. And this month, we have a NTF2 design from Bletchley Park. Um, this is, a, uh, this is a, a very popular fold for ligand binder designs. If you remember, or if you've played any of our recent olivitolic acid binder designs, um, you'll notice that the starting point usually looks something like this fold. And this is a difficult fold to design because it has a very curved beta sheet, and um, in the center, there's usually a binding pocket, some, some, exp um, uh, some open space where a small molecule might be able to fit. And in fact, we can see that if we turn on the voids. Normally, voids are bad in a protein, uh, but in this case, the, the open space in the middle of the protein kind of makes room where we might be able to design a small molecule binding pocket. Um, I like to look at these in the protein design view preset so that I can see all of the polar 
oxygens and nitrogens, and they're hydrogens that need to make hydrogen bonds. Um, and we see that this protein looks like a very nice NTF2. There's lots of hydrophobic orange residues in the interior with lots of blue hydrophilic residues on the outside. And that will make this, that will help this protein to fold up correctly and to be, remain soluble in the cell. Um, we do see in the core, there are a couple of polar atoms, a tryptophan here and a tyrosine, but they're making a hydrogen bond, so they mostly satisfy each other. Uh, this tyrosine does have a hydrogen that would prefer to make a hydrogen bond, but since it's accepting a hydrogen bond from the tryptophan, I'm not terribly worried about this. Um, if we were trying to repurpose this design for a small molecule binder, it might be nice for a, uh, if the small molecule had a, an acceptor there that could accept a hydrogen bond from this tyrosine. Um, what uh, is especially, especially impressive about this protein is its alpha fold confidence. Um, Bletchley Park was able to design the protein with a confidence level of about 85%, which is pretty impressive for an NTF2 molecule. Um, and we double checked this protein does not have any sequence homology to any known protein. So this is a brand new protein sequence, an NTF2 that has never been seen before by nature. And AlphaFold seems to think it has a good chance of folding up. Uh, we like to see this. Um, hopefully we'll be running some more small molecule binder design puzzles soon, and the neural net objective may help others design proteins with such a high alpha fold confidence. This is great work from Bletchley Park. Um, as always, we strongly encourage everyone to share your favorite designs with scientists. We love to see what folded players think are the most interesting designs, regardless of how they rank on the folded leaderboards. That's it for this month. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for playing, and we'll see you next time.